Guys, I'm out here at my brother-in-law's unit. He said it was blowing out hot air. I have all the gauges hooked up to it with the air probes on the inside. We're going to see what she's doing right now. It's an old 12 seer Goodman CPLJ heat pump. Looks like we might be a little bit low on charge. We have a really low sub-cooling. Higher than target superheat, although it's not a lot higher. And of course our suction pressure is really low for me. Uh, it's, it's in the 70s inside, so it's kind of a low suction pressure. See our target 68. So we probably have to add a little bit of charge to this to get it back up. It's hovering right above freezing. And there's a couple issues there which might contribute to it freezing up or it's not being able to put out enough cooling whenever the subcooling drops to zero. And there's a liquid gas mix making it through the piston. Guys, we're looking at a 63 under a 184 or so. We're in the ballpark on superheat. Subcooling's still a little bit low. We're running at two tons. We've got a high airflow estimate because of the low temperature spread. And I think that might be correct. And I think we might actually have one of these deals where we have a larger piston than the rated for outdoor unit. So, but we have subcooling now, whereas before we were losing our subcooling, which was causing issues getting cooling. And the head pressure estimate is a little bit off because it's 10 to 12 sear, and this is a 12 sear, which is probably a little bit below the estimate there, and that's normal. So I'll let it run for a few more minutes, see if we keep putting out cooling, and see if any issues arise. Guys, we checked our capacitor, it was fine, everything else looks good. Once we got a little bit of subcooling on our system, it cooled very well. My fear is that whenever it gets hot up in that attic, because at one point I had recorded the attic temperature at about 132 degrees, I believe, that we're losing that subcooling and we're getting a gas liquid mix at the metering device on the hottest days of the year and we're losing the cooling so uh, I could not tell what model the air handler was because it was gone but I'm pretty sure it's an ARUF but I'm not positive of that this is a 2001 CPLJ I don't know sometimes it had a larger matchup but who knows adding a TXV might help the issue but besides that, it's near the end of its life anyway. If it keeps on cooling, we had to add about eight ounces of refrigerant to it. So with eight ounces in it, it's getting enough subcooling. But as it leaks back down, it's going to cause an issue again. So, but off to the next one.